Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Robert, this is Tools with Souls, and here we take a different look at power tools than other tool channels. What we focus on here is not just speed or power. No, we look at value, and we define value as a place where power, performance, and price meet. So on this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be comparing the rigid subcompact kit to the Makita subcompact kit and allowing you to decide which one is the better value. Hey, while you're here, if this sort of thing intrigues you or you think it's entertaining, please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button down below. Now we're going to get into the testing right after this. This is the rigid subcompact kit that is currently available at Home Depot for $199. The drill, the impact driver model number is R8723 is a very compact uh, impact driver sporting 2,900 max RPMs and 4,200 impacts per minute and a very small and lightweight, about two pounds frame. This is the drill driver. Model number on this is R8701 in speed one this has 450 rpms in speed two it goes up to 1750 rpms we will be uh, doing all of our testing on speed two this is the makita subcompact uh, kit that is currently on clearance at home depot and clearance price on this can range from what I got it for is $112. And you can watch this video up here to see how I did that. All the way up to $189. So the impact driver on this is model number XDT15. This has 3000 RPMs and 3,900 impacts per minute. The drill driver is model number XFD11. In speed one, it's four, or 500 RPMs. In speed two, 1,700 RPMs. So our testing tonight, we will be doing um, one each. These are five inch ledger locks. So the drill driver will be doing a ledger lock. The impact driver will be doing a ledger lock for each brand. Then both will be doing a seven eighths Irwin spaddle bit. We have a five eighths speed bore and then a three quarter speed bore. So first up, we're going to be testing out the uh, Makita impact driver. It does not have a quick insert collet. Now the drill driver. And now it's Rigid's turn. The Rigid Impact does have a quick insert collet.
First up, we're going to be doing the Makita seven, uh, with a 7 8 spaddle bit. And now the impact driver. The rigid subcompact with the exact same bit. Finally, the rigid subcompact drill driver with the same spaddle bit. And just to show you guys, these are fully charged batteries. So we have the 5 8 speed bore. This is the drill driver. It does also have a full char uh, fully charged battery. And I am just letting the tool do the work. I just put my hand up here to uh, balance the tool and make sure it can go as straight as possible. The rigid subcompact, also with a fully charged battery. And the rigid drill driver also with a fully charged battery. And our final test of the night, the Makita Impact with a three quarter speed bore bit. The impact driver, still a full battery. It didn't quite make it through. I'm going to test it again to see if maybe it just hit a knot. There you go. Must have just hit a knot that first time. Now we're going to do the rigid subcompact. Still a full charge.
And finally, the rigid drill driver, also with a fully charged battery. One bled over into the other hole, so I'm going to do it again. Well, there you have it. Um, I haven't done any of the editing, so I don't know uh, which set or which tools were faster than the others. But uh, being that this is a value, did one significantly outperform the other to justify spending more or was the uh, more cost effective model the best way to go leave it in the comments section which set you thought won and uh, while you're down there hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and if you wanted to if you want to see more videos like this Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.